Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. Yeah, welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Today, we're gonna have some interesting fun today with this 747 400 that we have right in front of us. But you know, it's not any 747 400, but more on that later. Yeah, right now we are in the Mojave Desert of California, which is the place where a lot of flight testing is done, especially by Virgin. <laughs> yeah, Virgin, we all know, has been going a little crazy recently with their uh, space project. I mean, they're not only doing all these airliner stuff, but they also want to go into space travel. Yes, bringing passengers and cargo up into space, making that whole thing cheap and reliable and everything, which I think is very interesting, especially for our future. Now, we have already talked about one of those projects that Virgin is doing, and that is that weird space plane, or the Spaceship 2, I think that what it was called, which is a, indeed a very, very interesting plane for launching passengers up into the skies and very much far beyond. Today, like Let's check out the Virgin Orbit, which is basically a way to get satellites and, you know, small cargo up into space very, very cheaply. Now, as you can see right here, this is a 747. Actually, this used to be a passenger plane for one of Virgin's airlines. Uh, was retired in, you know, the early 2000s. And so, you know, they didn't want to scrap this plane, which I think is, you know, a very nice thing to do. I mean, we want to keep the 747s flying for as long as possible. So they basically turned this plane into, well, what, how should I call this? A satellite space launching platform that flies right you know so far we've only been able to launch rockets from the ground that could change here with this plane so yeah virgin had the idea to um, you know reuse the 747 and just put rockets below the wings that can launch from the 747 while it's flying at 35,000 feet which i think is a very revolutionary idea i mean you know we don't have a lot of space launching platforms on this planet i mean we only have some in like the us maybe some in europe and russia or something, maybe North Korea. But you know, there's like hundreds of countries that don't have space launching platforms. So that's where the 747 could come into play and just fly in everywhere around the world, launching satellites from every country on the go while flying. And I think that's really cool. And you know, it just gives a lot of flexibility. You can be very fast. You don't have to care about weather as it's going to be above the weather anyway. Also, you're going to be a lot closer to the orbit, which is, you know, where we're going right now. Now that's really to list only some of the advantages here. Obviously, the biggest disadvantage would be that you're limited in size and weight. I mean, after all, the 747 is powerful, especially now since it's completely empty. Yeah, they basically scrapped the whole inside of the plane to make it as light as possible, give it as much performance as possible for this little rocket down here. Now you can get this very interesting model here for the flight simulator on xplane.org. I was just uploaded like 17 hours ago. It's pretty recent. And yes, it actually includes this little launcher that we're definitely going to use now. Has a little tutorial here. Procedure. Flyer 747 as high as possible before launch and literally aim for the stars. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do that. All right, let's skip some time. Let's actually go to 35,000 feet of normal a cruising altitude for the 747. And let's indeed aim this plane for the stars. Uh, yeah, this is literally, I think, what the launching procedure would be in real life, right? Okay, let's go ahead now. Let's gain some speed here, running at full power. We need the whole performance. And right now with the switch, we have turned on the arm mode for our little rocket here. And then we can go ahead and press our little button here on our joystick. Let's just go ahead and do that. Aim for the stars, maybe go for a fully inverted flight or something and press the button and, oh, that's gone a little bit into the wing and rocket is off. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, we have to track it down. I think I've lost it. Is it over there? Did that fail? Now, what I can actually do is press shift seven and follow the rocket or maybe that was actually a failed launch okay let's try this again see this maybe takes a few times there's actually not been a successful attempt to get one of those rockets sent out in the space in real life obviously they're going through a long 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 testing phase as always in aviation i think that's important right okay let's go ahead try this again all right lock Oh, yeah, okay, let's press shift seven. That hasn't worked. And this rocket is real fast. I mean, really, that's, that's a really good thing about this 747 thing as well. Obviously, this rocket stars with a lot of speed as well. Um, practical testing so far. Um, is this the future, really? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, come on. For vertical flight, there we go. And now it's off. Come on, we can do it. Ah, that's that's the wrong angle. Oh, wow, it's dead now. Oh, that's that's not God. Did you see that? Maybe let's uh, pull less of an angle. Maybe that's a little bit <laughs> more realistic. Okay, try number five. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 
Oh, that's even exploded right there. Jesus Christ. Can we go to a higher altitude? How about 56,000 feet? <laughs> yeah. Then I just love flight simulation because then you can really just reset your flight every time. There we go. Let's go ahead and rocket us back. Let's go ahead and do it now. Come on. Oh, that's the wrong direction. We don't want to bomb anything right there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on. Mm. We can see it. We can see it. It's not. Oh, it's dead. To be honest, I think I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now. Oh, yes, that's looking good. That's looking a lot better. That was looking a lot better until it didn't... Ah. Okay, now this position. How about now? Come on. Oh, we have shot it, like, right up in the skies. And it's, uh... Now on, on its way to the orbit, I think. And now we have to care about getting this plane to work again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, it's not particularly easy to build this kind of tech. But, you know, Elon Musk has been able to build a rocket that can land itself. So I think that'll do. And uh, we're kind of crashing right now. But the cool thing about the 747 now is that you can obviously strap other stuff than uh, uh, the rocket and we've crashed to the underside of the wing. Like uh, weapons, right? We can shoot down planes with this. Load up a good old Phoenix missile. Okay, and that's showing up here as well. <laughs> yeah. This is actually the cool thing. This is very modular. You can transport anything with this kind of system, of course. Even a missile. So this plane could go to war. And uh, we've got us an MD-80 flying here. So, um, time to go to 38,000 feet. Okay, actually, we can see the contrails of the good old MD-80 right in front of us. You know, that small little plane uh, over there. Let's go ahead and select it as a target. It's actually showing up here as well. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. This is what I mean by flight simulator fun. We're now shooting an MD-80 down with the 740 seven called cosmic girl and this is the of course the time to remind you to subscribe over 60 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so just do it while we're here following along this empty 80 getting ready to shoot it down all right half an hour later it's right in front of us as you can see small little dot let's go ahead and shoot our missile come on you can do it you can do it 747 oh wow wow wait i did not see that oh no the camera was okay now we've crashed as well because our g limits but we have sh shot down an empty 80 i was actually trying to see where the rocket went but it, it went right here into this MD-80 and, and we're dead as well, so that's victory, I guess. So yeah, that is Virgin Orbit for you. Very interesting. It doesn't work this much just yet. But we can look forward to a bright future of Virgin Orbit. You can try out this add-on for yourself. Um, maybe we'll actually make it work. And we've crashed in the background. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much. Stall, 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 stall.